The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Margaret Walker's Xeriscape is successful in spite of the Texas Panhandle winds. Well, hi, Margaret. I understand you can't grow a garden in the middle of the Panhandle where the wind's just always blowing. Hi. Well, actually, you can. And if you would like to come along, I'll show you how. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Margaret, this is a beautiful garden here. Thank you. Even to the point of having water. We've got a waterfall here. Well, actually, that's how this garden came about. A few years ago, my husband built the waterfall, and we needed to do something to landscape it. So that's kind of what got us started. Waterfall, cattails. And the cattails weren't planned. In fact, last summer, we wondered what they were because we didn't plant them there. They, they just, just happened. Happened on their own. Yes. Oh, an echinacea. I see a lot of echinacea here. The echinacea, I had a couple of years that the leaves were black, mm -hmm. and I kind of almost gave up on it. And then just it came back from seed and has done well since. It's gotten its roots established, and now it's happy here. It looks like there's no wind here at all. Well, actually, it may look like that now, but, that, but there is a lot of wind. I see a lot of mulch. It's right here, staying in place. The wind, um, actually, these... Um, drip lines that we have throughout the garden were, or in the spring, were covered with a heavy layer of mulch. And they're right on the surface now. And now they're right on the surface. Well, the mulch is important for water conservation when you've got wind, and so is a drip system. Extremely. So those are important. I think those are the two major keys to having a garden where the wind really blows, is that you have the moisture and you can keep it watered with the drip. And I notice your fence, though, is a permeable fence. Well, we decided that we wanted a fence that we could see out, so we went ahead and went with the, the wrought iron rather than the solid fence. And you do get good views, and your prevailing wind really isn't from the fence direction, is it? No, actually, most of the time, a lot of the time our wind comes from the southwest, but this year we've had winds that came from the east. Now that would come right through the fence then. Yeah, so it's just, it, you never know. But the house, for the most part, blocks your wind. Somewhat. And that's an important thing. Try and find ways to block it. But then yes. a permeable fence is better than a solid fence. That's what I understand. Because you'll have winds swirling back and creating a problem if it's solid. Yes. This is a clever and artistic use of a clay container, but it also protects these small plants from the wind. And the placement of plants near and in between rocks also helps them thrive in windy conditions. Well, this is beautiful, and you've proven that you can grow a beautiful garden right here in the middle of the Texas Panhandle. Well, thanks. Thank you. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.